It's hereditary, so it causes their nails to sort of curve around. Okay. And then it just starts to grow into what we call the sulcus or the sides of the skin. Yeah. Some people they have an injury to their nail, something bashes it, and after that the nail just starts to grow a bit funny. Yeah. So it's just it's just the direction of growth has just gone off. Yep. Yeah. And then it, it causes infection, that that's the presumably the danger. Well yeah, it, so your body realizes there's something there that shouldn't be there. So sometimes you get pus, yeah. which happens in Logan's case. Sheesh. <laughs> so I'm going to go and see who that is. I'm ever so sorry guys, they call me. I'm not touching them long, but I'm going to close the door so you get privacy. Yeah. So yeah, pus doesn't always mean infection. Oh, this is very good. This is me, yes. Thank you very much. This means something is there that shouldn't be there. You right there, Logan? Yeah, a tiny bit of hurt, but apart from that's fine. Tiny bit? Just a tiny bit, it's not, yeah, not much. There are no points of bravery here. If it's painful, just let me know, okay? Yeah, okay, yeah. As he said, he's only used one of the five bottles. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about us. Don't need to give you. How's that? That's fine, yeah. Okay. If you, don't, <laughs> if you don't want to tell me, just tell Dad and let Dad tell me, okay? Okay. Yeah, there's no need to suffer. There's no need to suffer the pain. Not at all. I'm only really take a minute for another injection yep. in there. Okay. I remember when I had my carpal tunnel syndrome and he had the tools inside my wrist. It obviously hit a nerve. Oh, flipping heck, that sent you like sent electric it. shock around the body. Yeah. That's quite exciting. <laughs> <That's> exciting. <laughs> <laughs> this is very exciting. I just love all of I really do. It's so sad. Are you alright there, Logan's mum? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> She's suffering the most. <laughs> So sometimes you get a bit of blood come back in because there's just a little bit of blood remaining in the toe. Yeah. So you won't get a constant stream. Yeah. You're right there, Logan. Yeah. Wow, that's a good size. Oh, yes. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, that's quite a big boy. That is a lot of nail. 
Is it weird watching that and not being in pain? It just feels as if, yeah, it, sh it should be in pain. But... Yeah. As you can see, I still got a lot of your nail left. Yeah. So that was literally just growing down the side. Yeah. I've just dropped from a bit of glass. Oh, is that what did glass it? Glass that fell on the toe, yeah. Mmm. It's a glass. It's a whole shower door, darling. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, that puts it into perspective, yes. I was thinking like a cup or something, and a shower door. Well, yeah, different story. <laughs> It's like a big window, yeah, it's quite hard to use it, yeah. God, that's a lot now, isn't it? I'll show you guys the pieces afterwards. Wow. You can take them home with you. <laughs> oh. Treasure them. Make a little collection. When you get, when you get your first girlfriend. Yes, yeah, so, so this is my nail. I'm in the green toenail. Look at my nails. Any questions about anything, Logan? No, I won't. I've got a question. So, so what, what would have happened to people's toes before the days of surgery when if they got into that situation? Would it just kind of sort of go um, poisonous and eventually? Potentially. Yeah. Uh, I know a lot of people who have said that the old podiatrists used to be dentists because a lot of our equipment is very similar. Similar, yeah. Um, yeah. And so you might see the dentist or a butcher and they might have either cut off the toe or, yeah. or yeah, tried to remove the nipple. Could you imagine? It's more without the anaesthetic. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, I think a lot of alcohol and a nice sort of bit of wood between the teeth. Yeah. <laughs> kind of a short, sharp shock sort yeah. of thing. But I don't even know what kind of tools you'd need because you need to sort of get under the nail to create space, and yeah. it must have just been horrendous. You probably just use a little screwdriver. Yeah. Something. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. Right, so I just like to do this to separate. That makes complete sense. You're lucky you live in the 21st century. <laughs> yes. Yeah. one want to become a toe doctor then? <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to answer that one? <laughs> <laughs> it's random the way, I mean the job that I do is one of these random jobs you've never heard of and no one would aspire. I went to university, got a degree and you'd never aspire to do it but you just kind of... And you thought that's what you wanted to do? Yeah. Right, let me just, so I'm just going to grab this toe and pull it out of the way. Yeah. Is that the killing stuff? Yeah, yeah. this is phenol. And we've we've experimented with different ways of applying it to the area and found that putting it in this gives you actually a lot more control mm. over where it goes. Has it gone in? No. no. Right, hang on one second. Let me get another thing out. Because we used to put it because it's a liquid, it means that I mean other places they'll use uh they will use crystals, but you can't necessarily control if it's got very much. Uh, sorry, let me just get this. That should do it. Yeah, the liquid, because it's liquid, it's you can control more. over, you can control where it goes. Yeah. Uh, and we used to put it on gauze. Okay. All right, and put a time on. Um, we used to put it on gauze and put it on the toe, but then the problem was, Again, you're not quite sure where it's going. You can't control where it goes so much. But we found putting it in this, because you can just do one drop at a time, yeah, yeah. you've got yeah. a lot more control over what's happening. So then you're less likely to get any sort of phenol flare, which is um, burned to the healthy tissue. The remaining nail doesn't usually get as badly affected or dehydrated because of it either. So it just found it a much easier way of doing it. Cool. Basically. Okay, look. Yeah.
Yeah, so for me, I originally wanted to do international relations in Arabic. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's a bit different. <laughs> We used to live in the Middle East, so my sister, who you saw, who left, she was born in Kuwait. And so, having lived there, it was lovely, but we never learned Arabic, because we couldn't go to the Arabic schools. So, yep, it was very sad, I think. Anywho, sorry, we're going to just, do you want me to put some more, or do you want me to spritz it? How would you like me to do it? Yeah, yeah, we can go for some more. Just a bit more. Let me just... Do you mind just clearing the... Yeah, just because there's a little bit in the... That's it. So yeah, anyway, so I thought, okay, I would really like to learn Arabic. This is going to be great fun. And I was always into debating and and, and, uh, the model United Nations and different things. So I thought, well, international relations and Arabic, great. But then I saw the course content at SOAS and I thought, well, being female, what am I actually going to do with that? Are they going to respond to me in the Middle East? Probably not. I don't know. I know I'll be a dentist. And my mum's like, you do not have any qualifications in in A-levels. To a dentist. I'm like, I'll do animation, it'll be fine. She said, that's not a real degree. No. I was like, okay, fine. What do you want me to do then? And she said, well, why don't you look at podiatry or physiotherapy? Because And then you can convert into dentistry. I thought, right, podiatry, never heard of it. Let's go with that one. Yeah. I actually really enjoy it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think I would still like to learn Arabic, but not to degree level or interpreter level or anything. I'm quite happy to just learn it from a conversational yeah. perspective. Yeah. So eventually one day I will do that. Do you, do you know many Arabic speakers? Quite a few. Yeah, yeah a lot of my friends who I used to live uh, who used to live in the Middle East, I still keep in contact with them. Um, yeah, it's just people don't like to speak to you in Arabic; they like to speak to you in English, and it's practicing their English. Yeah. Um, so I speak Dutch as well because my dad is Dutch, oh, wow. and um, I am taking lessons in Dutch at the moment, which is good every Sunday. Um, you like languages then? Yeah, I do. I didn't realise. And I like listening. If I hear people like yourself, you're from South Africa, I think. Oh, wow. Well, well, yeah. Well, so I like to listen to the accents. I'm like, that is a Norwegian accent. Yeah. I got it wrong yesterday. I had a lady that came in and she said, no, I'm actually from Sweden. I'm like, I'm ever so sorry. I said, no, it's all right. I said, no, I normally get this right. This is very upsetting yeah. for me. And I don't know why you, AJ, decided to come for that. Yeah, that's it. That's it. I got into it because I always want to do something in the medical field, mm. and especially surgery. That's what I'm training to be. Okay. But mainly because where I'm from in Barbados, they really need podiatrists there. Oh. Yeah, so they've only got, what, four podiatrists now, for a population of 250,000. Right. Oh. You've been to Bar- You're going to go back to Barbados, so... Eventually. Yeah. I was right. hoping you'd come and stay with me. <laughs> <laughs> come back and work with me. Yeah. Well, until I get, get back there, yeah. So maybe That's the, the, the year before you retire, you can go back to Barbados, right? <laughs> <laughs> Work there for a year, but the remainder stay with me. <laughs> yeah, maybe you can open a, a branch in Barbados. That is also possible. I'm, yeah. cons- I'm open to that op- that consideration <laughs> as well, Adrian. I'm just or even Trinidad. Yeah, because Trin- my mum's from Trinidad originally. No way. Um, I think they've got one person out there now, don't they? One yeah. podiatrist. Um, no, where I'd like to go is Sri Lanka. That's where I want to open up somewhere. Oh. We used to live in Sri Lanka. My dad was a civil engineer, so oh. we travelled around loads. Uh, actually, I can get rid of this now, can't I? Let me spritz this for you. Well, when you're ready, let me know. You're right there, Logan Store. Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> well, yeah, you can spritz. Just like sitting back playing Xbox, isn't it? <laughs> Like different sports, but yeah, I think I kind of went a little over the top with that, but that's yeah. fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Quite cool. Very similar to the technology they've developed, so you can do surgery remotely. 
Yeah, I've yeah. heard that. I think they actually use Xboxes to help with that as well. And, yeah, they put a virtual virtual reality suit on. Yeah. Then, no way. So there's a robot at the other end and you're just controlling the, the robot. And I think they have used, I'm pretty sure it's Xbox, they combine all the Xboxes together to create like one big supercomputer. And so you can have surgery from a surgeon in America doing it in Australia, all via Wi-Fi or whatever yeah. it is. That's yeah, incredible. Um, yeah. I mean, I don't know what surgeries they do, but I have heard that is a thing. Right, I'm going to take that kind of camera. Right, right, right. Let's get back to the notes. Where are the notes? Oh, well, the plus coming back to the phone now. Let me know when it's off. Very nice, thank you. Very brave, Luke. Yeah. Piece of cake, you said. Piece of cake. I'll do, I'll do the other two next year, you said. Yeah, normal colour. Yeah. Colour return, temperature return. Texture is fine. Good, good. Yep, Trip normal. instructions given, yeah, dressing bag, yes. Uh, can we include you in our patient satisfaction survey, which I think you get an email in a year's time saying, yes. is everything still okay? Post office instruction, consent form, yes, consent to the app. Uh, Yep. Okay. So, Mims. That's gone so red. I don't think I need counter snap for that, so we don't worry. Okay. So. Yeah, just doing it for the Just let me know. Cool. Right, so that's all done. Any other questions? No, I'm not. Very good. I'm turning my phone now. Honestly, that boy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you got two. Yeah, I yeah. got two. You want? Do you want? Do you just want one? I'm yeah, really. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's just Do you want me to send you a link? Yeah, you can yeah, see yeah. it. Definitely. I will have to edit it. So we've got some, I know this is going to sound really horrible, to make it more like, woo, like zooming in <laughs> and slow motion removing the nail. Do you do that yourself? Or I you do. Just, oh, really? Very you sad. enjoy all that? I do. I, well, I like to know everything about everything. Because <laughs> then if someone can't do it, I can do it. Yeah. Does that sort of make sense? So I can send it to someone to do, but I'm like, well, I know what I'm looking for and what I'm trying to yeah. put across with this video, so yeah. I tend to just do it myself. Right, sorry. Oh, do you do something with all of it? Yeah, so I try to go round like that, and then I'll go over the top and over the top, like Secure. across. Yeah. Okay. I saw a patient do it, and I was like, actually, that's really good. I'm going <laughs> to copy that. Yeah. Fine. So that's the only reason I've got them ready. Got yeah. Really much. Uh, just to say, it's at the unit. I'm just wondering where you were. Yep. And then I'll trim that as well for you. Nice colour, Logan. Yes, it's supposed to match our <laughs> corporate colours. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Cool. Thank you. I mean, that's quite a nice, neat dressing, but maybe mine don't always turn out as neat as yours, but it's just... Yeah. Yes. So I took put one like one like that, and then I do one like that as well. So okay. it's however you want. It's just to make sure it stays in place. Got the pro on the job, isn't it? And that goes in there for you. Back of the field. Yeah, when, when, when this goes. Yeah. <laughs>